In this example, we have two lists, an accounting list with reference numbers and amounts, all negatives, and the Amex list, which has the same reference numbers and a positive number. Now, luckily, because they're positive and negative, we don't have to do any more work on it. So the first thing is to get everything in the same area. So, but before we do that, we must be careful. We need to name these items so that we know that all these items up to that row are from the accounts list. So I'm just going to give it a name and I'll call it accounts list and just copy it Yeah. I can then go to the Amex list and I'm going to copy and paste it at the bottom of this list. Paste it over here. And what I'll do is I'll give that the appropriate name. So I'm going to say that is Amex. And put it everywhere. Now that I've created the big database, I can highlight it, put it into a pivot table. And now we can create the comparison. So firstly, we're going to put the name of the list in the columns because we'll, what we want to see the count list and the Amex against each other. The reference should be the unique and item that we can compare. So there's the full list. And then we can pull the amount through. And what you should see is that in some cases they'll offset, some cases they won't. I'm just going to make this a bit easier to read. Some formatting. And then just to show us what is happening, so for example, you'll see there that reference is a negative, there's a positive, comes to zero. So we're just going to sort this in descending order based on the sum of amount in local currency. And then we'll get something like that. Where we can now see what the one list says, what the other list says, and what the difference is.